Well, well, welcome along to another edition of The 116. I'm your host, Greg Fish. This right here is a podcast about living life higher, wider, closer, and deeper. And The 116 is a presentation of First United Methodist Church in downtown Peoria. Hey, don't forget to like us and share us on social media. That helps us get the word out a bunch. And uh, hey, subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Follow us on YouTube. It's absolutely free. Helps keep you up to date on our latest episodes. And if you want more information about us or to have a conversation with us, go to PeoriaOne.com. We can give you more information there. You'll find our website, find out things about First United Methodist Church. And there are contact forms. You can send us notes, send us questions, the ideas that you may have for the podcast in the future. Well, today we're going to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart, and that is food. <laughs> the, the topic of food. Um, it, it occurred to me that as we talk to you about about uh, building relationships with others, going higher, wider, closer, and deeper. And of course, our heart is doing ministry work. The one of the great ways to build relationships with others is to take them out to eat. And there are all the standard places you could go, but there are also some places that you might not have thought about. Maybe you've never visited. Maybe you might say they're out of the way places or a little bit unusual, and you're just not sure about them. Well, in talking with my guest today, I've realized that here is a man who knows the uh, the good places to eat. He he regularly talks about them on his uh, Facebook post. And I want to introduce you to my my dear friend Rodney Nelson. Rodney, thank you so very much for being a part of our podcast today. Well, thank you, Greg. I appreciate you asking me, and I'm glad to be here. Now, how did you kind of become a aficionado on places to eat? Just you you love to explore, love to eat, combination of all those things. I love to go out and eat. Um, I'm not much of a cook myself, so it's always a pleasure for me to go out someplace that I've never been before and check it out and see what they have to offer. And keep in mind that today is not really so much a commercial endorsement. It's just helping you to find some places that you might not have discovered before that might be fun to take somebody as you're building that relationship with them and, and finding ways to minister into their life, into their family's life. And personally, I believe that the, the table is the best place together for us to all come together. Don't you think so, Rodney? It's yes, kind of I a do. good, it's yeah. a good place for us to resolve differences and just get to know people. Everybody's usually happy when they're around the table. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, the, Throughout the Bible, the table is an important place for gathering people. And even uh, Jesus brings us together at a table uh, for his supper, uh, as we call the communion service, as we come to a table. So there are great places together. And and by the way, I, I, I the one endorsement I will give today is to say Rodney is just one of the kindest uh, guys I know and one of the most encouraging people. Rodney, thank you for being an encourager. That is, that's your a gift of yours, you know? Well, thank you. Yeah, all right. So well, let's get started. The first question is, uh, Rodney tells me he has seven places. I don't, they're not in any particular order, are they? No. Okay, so let's just begin with the first place on your list, your first recommendation for an unusual or out-of-the-way place uh, that you would recommend to take somebody for dinner, and that place is? Uh, these uh, restaurants are not listed in any type of order from best to worst. They're just random choices. Okay. Just mine. Good. First one is uh, in Goodfield, Illinois, and that's halfway between here and Bloomington, okay. right off of Route 74. And the name of the restaurant is The Busy Corner. The Busy Corner. And I think I've been there. <laughs> it's a very family-oriented restaurant, and you would really, really like it because they have daily specials, which is always nice, and a fantastic assortment of homemade Pies. Yes, I have been there. Okay, that sounds familiar. That they're they're most famous, I think, for their pies. They yeah, have all yeah. kinds of fruit pies mm -hmm. and cream pies. Um, they offer both indoor and outdoor uh, dining uh -huh. and carry out, of course. Uh -huh. They have a very large dining room with counter seating as well, which mm -hmm. is sort of a throwback to the old days. And it's very friendly and very reasonably priced. So nice. it's worth the trip to take from here uh, on your way to Bloomington to stop off in Goodfield at the busy corner. 
and I think I've been there. And don't they usually have like daily specials, yes, kind they of do. home yep. style foods? Yes. And, All good. Yeah, and and it's it's a it's a clean environment. Yes. It, it reminds me a little bit in its setup, if I remember correctly, of kind of like a Bob Evans might be set up. Yeah, if I'm not sort mistaken. of like that. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, but um, uh, more. Uh, they're locally owned, right? Yes, they are. It's okay. not a chain. It's a one up. So, um, they offer a wide variety too, and the help there is wonderful. You will never find uh, uh, the wait staff rude or unruly. They're always mm -hmm. very helpful and kind. What is your pie recommendation? Do you have a, a specific pie recommendation? Oh dear. Um, I am a big blueberry pie fan. Oh. Um, I have made some of my own, but don't, they can't compare to what you can get at the busy corner. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So the busy corner and uh, that's suggestion number one. Yes. Okay. The second suggestion on your list, Rodney? Uh, it's the Fox and Pub Cafe. Fox and Pub. And this is in the north end of Peoria, located off of Pioneer Parkway, in the Parkway Plaza Shopping Center. And it has indoor, outdoor, and carry-out dining as well. It uh, has sort of a British theme to it. And um, one of my favorites there is Cottage Pie, which just mm. happens to be their name for Shepherd's Pie, if you oh, are familiar with yeah. that. T tell us a little bit about what that includes. How well, it's got uh, chopped up potatoes and vegetables and mm -hmm. uh, pieces of ground meat, and it has sort of a pastry covering, and it's baked. It's really, really good. Nice. Uh, they also offer other British specialties, such as curry and chips, bangers and mash, ah. and Sergeant Pepper soup, which is a favorite of mine. And this, and by uh, the way, for the uninitiated, tell us what bangers and mash is. Uh, I've not had that, so I just saw that on the menu. So I, I'm. I think it's like a sausage, sausage and mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes probably. Somewhere, maybe? I okay. think that's what it is. I'm sure our viewers will correct us if that's not correct. <laughs> the Sergeant Pepper soup uh, is a tomato bisque with uh, roasted red peppers and smoked Gouda cheese. Um, they are, however, closed on Sunday and Monday, which I think okay, is so yeah. strange here in Peoria. Many, many Peoria eating establishments are closed on Monday. So if you're looking to go someplace on Monday, it's best to either get online or call first to find out if they're going to be open. You know, I've noticed that as well, but I, a side of me kind of appreciates that because it makes me feel like they're taking care of their employees and True. guaranteeing that they have that day of rest yep. that they need. So that's a nice touch. Yeah. Okay. Shall I continue? Uh, tell us the name of the place one more time that you just mentioned. The Fox and Pub Cafe. And that's located? Off of Pioneer Parkway, okay. uh, up in the north end of Peoria in the Parkway Plaza Shopping Mall. Okay. So before you go to your next place, sure. uh, we're not going to mention the name of it, but I, I got a little kick out of a place that you uh, did not recommend here recently, kind of a newer establishment that deals with seafood. Uh, do you tend, when you don't like a place, do you give them a second chance? How do you how do you normally do that, Rodney? Um, well, I went to a restaurant just not too long ago. And I did put something on Facebook about how I was not really happy with my first visit, but I will most likely probably go back and, and I will attribute maybe a lot of it to them just getting started and their, mm -hmm. maybe sure. their help isn't completely up sure. to speed at what they're doing either. I think I concur with you. I think it's always a good idea to give second chances. Correct. Um, now, you know, sometimes that cleanliness thing will push things kind of over the line. I mean, if I'm seeing... Insects, uh, you Not know, good. if you get a view of the kitchen and it's just, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, interesting. Okay, go ahead and give us number three on your list, Rodney. Number three is the Midway Duck Inn and restaurant and bar, and this is in Low Point, Illinois. Low Point? Low Point. If you head up uh, along the Illinois River on Route 26 between here and Lakin is um, a restaurant called the Midway Duck Inn. So when you're in a low point of your life, yes. yeah, it's a good place to eat. Yeah, yeah. Its specialty is pan fried chicken. Ooh. Ooh. They buttermilk brine the chicken and oh. then toss it lightly and then pan fry it. Uh, it's not real big, but affords great views of hummingbirds if you like hummingbirds because they have all kinds of hummingbirds hung outside the restaurant 
And there are a lot of windows so that you can watch the hummingbirds. Hummingbird feeders. Right. They don't have the hummingbirds themselves hung. That would be kind of (laughs) tiny and... Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Um, They have great corn fritters also. And getting there is a great treat because it's up along the Illinois River. It's a very scenic drive. Nice. Um, they are also closed on Monday and mm. Tuesday. So. Interesting. Okay. So tell me about the, those corn fritters. That sounds good. Uh, they're round uh, and probably breaded and deep mm-hmm. fried, and they're just really, really good. Tasty. Oh, my goodness. And then they, I think they put powdered sugar over them, too, so it makes oh, them even better. That's interesting. And that's the Midway Duck Inn in Midway. Low Point. So <laughs> there's, there's so many... Th- Duck in when you get a chance, when you're feeling a low point. And yeah. Okay. Very, very good. All right. So uh, next on your list. Uh, the Fish House. And that's right here in Peoria. It's No on- relation to me, but no. <laughs> I, I've eaten there. Yeah. Go ahead and tell us about that. It's on uh, North University, just past Glen. Uh, it opened way back in 1976 and it's been serving fish to the greater Peoria area for over 44 years. Uh, they specialize in fresh seafood. Uh, Dishes from around the globe with an eclectic mix of steak, chicken, and pasta dishes to satisfy every appetite. They also offer a seafood market at the rear of the store Mm. where you can go and purchase your own seafood and take it home to cook. Great service from great servers, and they're open daily from 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. The fish house. Yeah. And, and I, I have been to this one. Um, my, my fiance treated me to a birthday dinner there. And I will have to say the staff there were outstanding. They are. Uh, it's a really uh, kind of a, a darker environment, but a very nice um, uh, I guess nautical. You, nautical environment. And uh, the food I had was 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 perfect for seafood. I, I'm a big, big fan of seafood and really, really uh, enjoyed the food. I, I think I went for the fried fish mostly. And uh, they even brought me a little piece of cheesecake for, for my birthday oh, dessert. That was, it was nice. Yeah, it was very nice. So yeah, I, I would recommend that as well. Probably a little bit on the higher end of the price right. scale just to be aware of. And maybe we should we should mention that as far as the other places. I Let's go back and, and I should have mentioned this on the price scale. Uh, Busy Corner is very reasonable. Very reasonable. Uh, mm-hmm. Fox Pub is reasonable. Mm-hmm. Uh, Midway Duck Inn is reasonable too. It's not expensive. Okay. All right. And, and I mean, they're all reasonable. By reasonable, we mean what you would normally expect yes. to pay at a restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So the Fish House, and that's located on North University. Is Correct. that the just yeah. past Glen? Yeah. Just a kind of a standard establishment around here. Okay. Very good, Rodney. Moving right along to La Peep, also in Peoria, and yeah. it's also on North University. Okay. And they only serve breakfast and lunch. Interesting. Uh, they do not serve dinner, but they also have a lot of coffee drinks, and uh, they have dine-in and curbside as well, And but they have also no contact delivery. Hmm. And they've been in Peoria for 16 years, and this okay. is a chain, actually. Oh, I've really? Been, I've been in one over in Indiana one time, so okay. I was not aware of that, of that until I saw it. That's I, interesting. Oh, La Peep. Well, I had seen the name, but I didn't realize it was a chain. What? What is? The, do you know what the name signifies? It's not a French-style restaurant. It is, is sort of French-style. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. One of my favorite breakfast dishes there is their Shamrock Benedict, hmm. which is served uh, with Irish style and with corned beef hash Ooh, so okay. uh, and i'm okay. a hash fan so <laughs> <laughs> you're a hash man yeah la peep okay so um and, and breakfast wise what else do they have on the i mean the typical breakfast items i guess yes uh, all kinds of omelets and all kinds of eggs done different ways and lots uh-huh. of a variety, and also a lot of salads for lunch and okay. and sandwiches and that sort of thing. But they do not serve dinner; just breakfast and lunch. And pretty much standard price range. For uh, a yeah, uh, it might be a little higher than moderately priced, but not not extravagant. And, and I know exactly where you're talking about because it's it's near the gym that I go to. Uh, okay, but it's it's a little it's something you have to watch for. Yeah, it's in a strip yeah. mall yeah. on the east side of University. La Peep, okay. Uh, west side, I'm sorry. Very good. All right. Next up on the list. Next is Obed and Isaac's Microbrewery and Eatery, and that's right here in downtown Peoria. Mm-hmm. And, uh, of course, you can enjoy uh, indoor dining or a beautifully 
in a beautifully preserved 1889 church. Nice. Or sit outside in their spacious outdoor patio. Um, step over to the, the beer garden and you will find your favorite craft beer and tap made in the brewery just beyond the bar. The restaurant was formerly the Second Presbyterian Church, mm. which morphed into First Federated Church, which is up on Sheridan. The inside has been transformed beautifully and still retains the flavor of a church with beautiful stained glass windows and word work, and their black and tan onion rings are extremely delicious. Wait, wait, what's that again? Black and tan. I have no idea why they're called that because they're not black at all. <laughs> the, the onion rings is just yeah. the dipping sauce. Um, I don't. It comes with sort of like a ranch dressing for dipping, mm. but they call it their black and tan onion rings. That's interesting. Uh, they're real thick cut onion rings and dredged in a unique ale. I think that's probably where that comes from, and a dark stout oh, okay. infused batter served with spicy. Dipping sauce. Gotcha. There's also an Obed and Isaacs in Springfield. I, I uh, wondered that because I've been to that one. And that yes. one was there first, and they are also <laughs> closed on Mondays, mm. um, as I mentioned, as many, many restaurants in Peoria are. And and at the one, now I, I've been to the one in Springfield. I haven't had an opportunity to visit the one here yet. Um, I had a, a horseshoe, which I actually liked, which is saying something because I don't. I think the horseshoe is one of the most overrated uh, uh, menu items. I, I don't get it. I guess not being from Illinois, that originally that probably makes a difference. I'm not a big fan of the horseshoe, but I had one there, and and uh, it, was, it was good, huh? It was very, very good. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Open, open, and Isaac's. Isaac's in downtown Peoria. In downtown Peoria. Very good. Up next, uh, my last. Uh, oh wait, wait. I'll know, but in Isaac's. Price wise, price range? Uh, a little above moderately priced. Okay. Not terribly expensive. Gotcha. I think of all of these places, the probably the most expensive would be the fish house. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Moving along, uh, my last um, recommendation is Gill Supper Club mm -hmm. in Hannah City, which is west of here. Uh, it opens at four o'clock, seven days a week, and they boast that to get a better piece of chicken, you'd have to be a rooster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> their chicken is very good and what i usually order and they've been in business since 1962 you'll see their colorful rooster out in front of the restaurant and oh, you'll, yes you'll come yes. to the right place the warehouse restaurant is right next door to it and is their sister restaurant with a full bar and more tasty food service is always good there and very consistent i like gill supper club Gill's Supper Club. In it's, Hannah City. In Hannah City. So, and, and what types of things do they have on the menu beyond the... the... Oh, they have steaks and chops and uh, fish and... Uh-huh. There's... And it's a place that you'd want to go to reasonably early because if you oh, wait till yeah. like six o'clock, uh -huh. you will have to wait and it's packed. Okay. So. All right. And price-wise? Uh, moderate. Okay. Gill's right. Supper... Gill's, Gill's Supper Club. Okay. Very good. Now, I, I want to ask you a, a question here. Thank you for the, the list of recommendations. And we have a little time left here. So since uh, uh, I enjoy talking food with you anyway, and I, I've, try, I, I've tried to do a lifestyle change. I'm trying to, to get my health in a little bit better shape. So and I'm you're not, doing a wonderful thank, job. Thank you. Not, I, I don't eat out like I did before, but I have a few weaknesses. So let me ask you this, Rod. And I have, a, I have some thoughts on this myself, but I am a, a big barbecue fanatic oh. as well. What is your go-to? Do you have a go-to barbecue? Are you a barbecue fan, and what's your go-to? Uh, that's kind of interesting because this was a place I was considering putting on my list and didn't, and uh -huh. it's called the Mission Barbecue, mm -hmm. and it's recently opened on Sterling, right uh, right next to Largon and Miller Religious Supply Store and across uh, the street from the Northwoods Mall. Right, right. And it is... is uh, caters to veterans and um, service providers. And at 12 noon every day, they play the Star Spangled Banner. Right, and you right. are asked to stand up and sing the Star Spangled Banner and put your hand over your heart. And uh, it's just kind of a nice touch. 
And uh, we know a lady that works there that's always uh-huh. been very nice to us. And every time we come, she brings us a free dessert. Ooh. and <laughs> which, which is a peach, peach cobbler. cobbler. Their peach cobbler is not good. very good. Very I good. take it you've been there. I have been there. And here's another. I, I, I've had their macaroni and cheese is quite good. And um, I, 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 the ribs are good. Uh, that One of the things I like about them that they do is the multiple styles of barbecue sauce. Yes. Uh, I, I like being able to sample the different kinds, which I've tried them. My favorite kind of also coincides with my favorite style of barbecue. I guess if I have it, I love all styles, but I, I particularly like Kansas City style barbecue. Okay. And their Kansas City sauce, I think, is particularly good. Have you had that one? Yes. Okay. Uh, each table has like six or seven different bottles of uh-huh. of different uh, barbecue sauce that you are right. welcome to try on whatever you're ordered. Their Carolina mustard sauce is pretty good. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Are you a Carolina barbecue fan at all, mustard style? Um, take it or leave it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, and, and like I said, with, with me, I, I just tend to like so many different kinds of barbecue that it's hard for me to pick a favorite. Yeah. Um, I like them with, with dry rub. I, I, I like sauce. I like sauce on my uh, pork. I, I, when I go to a barbecue place, the first thing I always try are the ribs. Uh, to me, that's the gold standard. If they get the ribs right, Thank it you. makes me feel good about the others. And then we move on to things like brisket. Is it tender? Is it flavorful? Or is it just kind of beef yep. that's there in your on your plate? Um, and the pulled pork, of course, is a standard as well. Yeah. But those are kind of... I, I always start with uh, the ribs. Do you have a method for determining... Uh, yeah, I, d- I don't like real dry um, barbecue. I like it sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, speaking of barbecue in uh, Peoria, I, I can't go on without mentioning good old John's barbecue, which I'm sure you don't really? know about. It. I do not. It used to be in downtown Peoria, approximately where the University of Illinois Medical Facility is right now. Mm-hmm. And it was run by a, a gentleman that started out with just sort of a, like a little shack and he developed it and it got bigger and bigger, but they had the most fantastic barbecue ribs. Really? Uh, just, you cannot believe, I, at the time, my family and I were living in Bloomington and we would make a special trip over here to Peoria just to go to John's Barbecue. Nice. Now, some of his relatives have kept the thing going and they started some other restaurants in Peoria, but they seem to have uh, not succeeded very well. So mm-hmm. um, John's barbecue is uh, any, you talk to anybody that's lived in Peoria for a while and they'll, they'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now here, here's my mind to try because it's in a place where you normally would not go for barbecue, but there is one in Northwoods mall called the smoking pit. I, I've heard that's good. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, it is very good. I, for, first of all, you'll love the people who work there. They're just great, great people there on the staff. And I think they're only doing, although they have some picnic tables set up in the mall area you can eat uh-huh. at. Uh, it's mostly carry out style right now. Uh, but their ribs are, are generally very good. Their sauce, very good. Uh, love their macaroni and cheese, which macaroni and cheese is kind of another staple that I look at. Uh, now they tend to serve just the, the slice of white bread. Uh, with the meal. So it's, it's a very standard barbecue thing to do. I know. Uh, but a really good, I guess you would say authentic barbecue. It's the kind of barbecue you would expect to find at uh, an out of the way hole in the wall place, but it's there in the mall, which yeah. by the way is a compliment. That's the best barbecue, I think. And okay. uh, another place, by the way, and I could go on, Slow Hand over in Peoria Heights. Okay. Uh, very good. They they really know what they're doing there and have, have really done a good job with, with what they've put together barbecue-wise. Where's, so, that, where's that located in the Heights? I, I, I wasn't... It's so near the, the Mary, Jane, Mary Jane Bremer Center. It's near that. Yes, okay. Yeah, near okay. that. I so, know that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, another uh, good idea. So, so Rodney, here's another question I have for you. And uh, this one may take you a little bit by surprise. So if you need to think about it for a moment. Okay. But we've talked about unusual places. You only had one uh, that you found out was a chain. But if you're going to the chain restaurants, if you if you have a hankering for food, is there a chain restaurant that you think this place is consistently good and I really like going to this particular place? Well, interesting that you should mention that because every Sunday after church, mm-hmm. I go to Chili's for lunch. Oh, okay. And they have pretty good ribs too, by the way. Uh-huh. I don't know if you've ever tried their ribs, but they're good. Okay. But um, we have a, a waiter that we uh, 
like very much, and he always knows what we ha- want, and he has it brought <laughs> to our table without us even asking. Nice. And he has a strange name, and any of you who are familiar with old uh, movie actors will recognize his name, Glenn Ford. Okay, I thought you were going to say John Wayne, okay, <laughs> no, but yeah. yeah. Glenn Ford is his name. <laughs> he's just a wonderful server, and he always greets us, and all the staff there are very nice. And so that's where I go every Sunday after church. My my chain restaurant that is my go-to when I'm on trips, Cracker Barrel. Okay. Huge Cracker Barrel fanatic okay. because they're consistently good, and I just I, I love what they do. Uh-huh. Let's do one more thing here before we sure. go. Let's talk pizza. Because oh. pizza is a big thing too, and pizza is a great, especially if you want to invite them over to your house, but you don't want to have to cook. Pizza is always a great alternative for that. Uh, let me give you my suggestion, if you don't mind, then then sure. I'll, so I'll let you think about yours. Sure. Here's my suggestion for pizza. It's over on, on North University at Tanglewood. Uh, it's Fat Jack's Pizza. Okay. Uh, they call it Quad City Pizza, and you'd have to ask them exactly what that means. I can't tell you. I think it may say on their website as well. But... Uh, First of all, the thing that really made me come back there was while the food was good, Mark and uh, his family that work there are just the greatest people in the world, just salt of the earth people. It, when, when I uh, had my uh, unexpected surgery they, and I ordered pizza, they left a sweet note for me on the box that uh, uh, we, I had picked up there for me. And, and uh, uh, they are just the kindest, most wonderful people. And their pizza is great. Um, Thick crust or thin? Or it's it's um it's in between good in between yeah it's okay. a good in between I guess you would say uh, they would probably call it a thin crust but it's not cracker crust thin and I think a, the crust is part of what makes a quad city there's a I want to say it's malted in some way oh maybe and oh and they slice it in rectangles rather than in in a pie, uh, shape. pie shape yeah which is a little bit different um I, I've tried several pizzas there one of my go tos is the pepperoni pizza just because the uh, the eating lifestyle that I'm trying to live pepperoni pizza seems to fit in best uh, with that but okay so for you Rodney pizza your recommendation um believe it or not this is a chain again but I, I don't I kind of like monocles okay well yeah yeah um, they're all over the place but um usually when I get monocles I order it and have it delivered to the house Um I've been to Agatucci's a couple times. Um, I haven't been there lately, but uh, they're they're not bad. I'm I'm not really sold on Pizza Hut pizza, and mm-hmm. I've read just recently online that Pizza Hut is going to do away with all of their dine-in uh, establishments. It's going to be yes, totally yeah. carry out and that sort of thing. There's not going to be any dine-in in a Pizza Hut anymore. That's unfortunate. Interesting. Okay. Uh, oh, and final question. I keep saying final, but here, here we go. Uh, the unexpected go-to fast food. What's your go-to fast food joint? Oh, probably McDonald's. Um, mm-hmm. I like their fish sandwich. Okay. Uh, I, I'll, I would have that before I'd probably order a hamburger or a cheeseburger. Uh, I like, I like the taste of their fish and their tartar sauce and they put a slice of cheese on it. And, uh, I, that's a nice go-to for me at McDonald's and, um, I'm not real crazy about the French fries. I like oh, really um, the That's French fries that I really like the best are at Culver's. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. And, and you know, as I was thinking about my answer for that, a lot of it depends on where I am because I, I go uh, in the past. I've gone to a lot of fast food. Right now, though, I mean Taco Bell. Uh, to make a quick Taco Bell run or Arby's always kind of a, a good choice as well. Yep. I th- I think so. Yep. All right, fantastic. Well, Rodney, thank you so much for sure. joining me here today. Well, I've enjoyed it, Greg. And and I, I was thinking that uh, uh, your other area of expertise is actually kind of automotive related. Well, um, I currently have a, a vast number of cars, and, and people will come up to me and say, well, just how many do you have, Rod? I said, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> and then eat you. No, 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 never mind. <laughs> Um, is, this is not that kind of show. Uh, well, and I don't know that we could ever work that theme in if I can think of a way to work it in, but we might bring you back to talk food again at some point in time. Okay. So Rodney, thank you so very much for your time here today. I've, I have really enjoyed this. Well, thank you for asking me. I've enjoyed it too. Did you, and by the way, I've also got this great idea for a spinoff of this podcast. If we ever do this, you're called the Rod pod. Oh. And, uh, and <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, turn your phone off. <laughs> it's spam. It's spam. 
That's gross. Spam, I don't like spam. Do you like spam? I do like spam. Uh, <laughs> that's another podcast altogether. Rodney, thank you so very much for coming along with us today. Really enjoyed that. And thank you very much for checking out this yet another edition of the 116. Definitely a more lighthearted edition. It's a podcast about living life higher wider, closer, and deeper. The 116 is a presentation of First United Methodist Church in downtown Peoria. Please like us and share us on social media. That helps get the word out. And also follow us, especially in your favorite podcast platform or on YouTube as well. And uh, subscribing, following is is free to do, but it keeps you up to date on our episodes. And check us out at PeoriaOne.com for more information or to connect with us, PeoriaOne.com. We are a presentation of First United Methodist Church in downtown Peoria. My name is Greg Fish. Thank you so very much for being a part of the 116 today. Mm-hmm.